to bother him if he's thinking in intelligently about something, but at the same time I'm just very worried about him. My voice comes out without any meaning for it to, oh well, Pierre? When Pierre turns around, the smile gives me a little tired compared to usual. Uh, hello, <laughs> Spinonia. Oh, that woman, she rode me like a bull. <laughs> My God, she holds on and makes burns. I have my trousers are on fire. I wasn't even wearing them, and she still burns them. <laughs> I can slag ginger. They have no soul. Is, is, is everything all right? I don't know. You have to watch on the YouTube channel. Maybe you'll <laughs> understand. Why do you ask? You, you just look a little sad. Sacre bleu! I suppose I'm just tired. It's no big deal. For God's sake, go and do some work. Break some dishes, for God's sake. I need some attention. I wonder if this has anything to do with Miss Adams coming by. I don't think he was the only... They all came. <laughs> I hear you and Miss Adams are pretty close. What did you two talk about today? Oh, aren't you a nosy little bitch? <laughs> I know it's very nosy of me, but I just have to know. Uh, Angelina, I, I would say we're very close, but... Uh, uh, you know, there's a small talk about France. Uh, I want to go back to France, you know, I hate this Belgium, even though I'm on the border, I still hate it. It's all shit. Oh, you're interested in travel? Care to travel into my trousers? Pierre seems pleased that I picked up on that. After all, I guess, and rather than worry about his relationship with Miss Adams, I should try to find out more about him. I don't know what it is, but this game's ten times more entertaining than fucking Desperate Housewives. <laughs> I'm uh, not particularly clean on uh, travelling, but yeah, I'd like to go to France someday, you know, I'm right on the border, as I tell you, I could walk over there right now, but I'm so stoned that I have got no trousers. I think I'm in America. It hits me just then that Pierre is probably part French. I mean, hello, his name is Pierre. I should have realised that sooner. Racial stereotyping. You have family there? Oh, no, not really. Well, I don't know. They might they might be on Bordeaux, but, you know, they're probably drunk fucking bastards. I just I just want to eat, eat go down on your food and eat, eat your culture. There's culture in France? <laughs> they have food. His eyes begin to light up and dance with some mirth and enthusiastically tells me more about France. For my, for my part, I'm just glad I was able to help lift his spirits a little bit. Yeah. Chapter 5. Later, Later that, that day. day. It's finally closing time. Time to go home. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that's, that's after we finish cleaning, mate. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, fuck it. I don't care no more. Oh, don't be such a spoiled part, Ethan. Jesus, I'm about to go and help us clean up. My uncle calls me into into the office. Apparently I have a phone call. I'm not sure who would be calling me, so I'm a little nervous when I pick up the phone. Uh, hello? Guten Tag, Spinonia. Das ist ein Mutter. Oh, hi, hi, Mom. I haven't talked to my mom in a while. Of course she would know the phone number of this place, though, since her brother owns it, right? It's good to hear her voice. This woman has a difficulty connecting simple concepts. <laughs> no wonder she breaks the dishes. I probably tell her, pick them up, take them over there, but she can only connect, pick it up. And then she drops it. Ah, uh, boy, meine Liebchen, how are things over there in, you know, Belgium? We, we might, the Führer says, maybe we go there next week. We don't know yet. This is nicht angreiflich. They're fine, everyone here is really nice. I love it here. What? God in Himmel, I was worried, you know, you don't write, you don't call, something about having to go into labor, I don't like this at all. Where's your uncle and the sliced bread? Oh, Mom, all I do is carry some plates around and drop them before I get anywhere, so I don't actually have to carry them very far. And right out where people want to eat, which is never me. It's, it's tough sometimes, but I'm doing it all night, though. I tell her all about my working day so far, so I leave out the parts about the broken dishes. 
Ethan gets annoyed with me and with Adam's brushing me off. Stroking you off, was she? She loves everybody. Oh, God, him. Come on. You really don't sound like you're enjoying it over there. You're not supposed to. You're German. Turn it down a bit. What are we Austrians? There's no happiness. There's only efficiency. Thanks, Mom. So tell me. Any good men in your life yet? Or women, maybe the horses, little farming. You don't need to be fussy. You know, tall, dark, handsome. You know, like that guy Liam, I don't actually know, but I've seen the YouTube channel. You know these things. Spill it, spill it. Does he spill it all over you? Yes, yes. Or do I you have swallow? a face he's come across before. Well, Pierre's tall, Liam's dark, and Ethan's handsome. But I don't think that's exactly what you mean. All three of them. We've seen the YouTube. Your mother's been on Pornhub. She knows the thing. Sort of. Sort of? There's, there's, is there someone to tell? Who tells these things? I'm not dating anyone, Mom. But you're interested in someone, surely. Come and tell me. I'm your mother. Tell me or we'll get out the clippers and start pulling out your fucking fingernails. Mom, I'm not a kid anymore. Do you really think you can get away with that? We are the Gestapo around here. We ask the questions and you answer them. So which one of them do you want to bang? Looks like I'm not getting out of this one. But it just so happens that she's just sort of right. The guy here I'm most interested in is... Dum 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 dum! All three! <laughs> and that guy at the bottom is <laughs> not there. D, a jar of almonds. <laughs> Adhesive medical strips. <laughs> Pierre, Ethan, or Liam? Or Pell? Let's, or Lep? Let's pick Ethan and ignore him the whole playthrough. Yeah. Oh, I missed. <laughs> There's only one way for it. We're, do, we're doing rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three. Okay? One, two, three. Ah, you win that one. One, two, three. Okay, so you've won that. So which one do you want? Ethan. Ethan Not it. that I want him, I just want to say Ethan and then uh, ignore it. Well, there's this waiter named Ethan. I don't want my mom teasing me too much, so I try to describe him without giving her any details. <laughs> so, he's a guy. Uh, I see. Well, he sounds like an exciting young man. Yes, his Facebook profile is very good. He's outgoing. Experimental. This is very good. He has a nice horse. Yes, you, you, your father would be very proud. If he hadn't been pounded by that pony, you know, and that other guy, you know, Ryan Smith and his sausages. But was sucking motherfucker. Yes. Well, I'm glad you're doing well, my Liebchen. I'm going to stop giving you such a hard time now. Wait till you get back to Germany, then we can all ride you like the Fuhrer used to ride the country. Uh, we make sure I call you once we get home, once in a while. We do miss you, but we will uh, endeavor to correct these problems and invade Belgium. Alright, bye mom! I'll be the Zen, shithead. After I hang up the phone, I feel a little lonely. I'm a long way from home after all, and stuck doing a job I was never trained for, even though I said I had the skills. Four years in college. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Am I actually just having this entire thing in a mental hospital because I don't know what the fuck's going on? I don't know if this game ever ends, actually. That's what I'm trying to find if we can actually get to the end of this game. Still, I know things will look up soon. Yeah, you'll look up because you dropped the plates on the floor. Sometime later. Dun, 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 dun. It's hard working at a restaurant, but my life eventually starts developing a rhythm. Uns, uns, uns. So things flow into each other and I slowly get used to the way of things. Yeah, that's the problem. She's, she's stuck in the time warp thing. She's having, she's a time lord. Everything's just mixy, it's wibbly wobbly, tiny wimey. I still make plenty of mistakes though. There's one uh, of them. <laughs> Uh, at this point, I was getting feeling get really annoyed. You're wasting energy spin on me. Are you even trying? Stupid prick. You, you act like I dropped the dishes on purpose. I don't mean to, Ethan. Oh, I wonder, you dopey cow. How am I still employed? Oh, yes, despotism. Well, Ethan's being as acidic as usual. <laughs> I thought I'd finally manage to get a bit closer to him, but I guess not. He'll only get off my case if I improve. Surely you weren't perfect when you started working here, right? 
your annoying optimism is really getting on my tits, you stupid little git. I was not as clumsy little cunt like you. Now shut the fuck up and take this here plate, you dumb bitch. Smash. Really? Well, I just told you, you could, don't, don't you want you got cauliflower in your ears? Listen here, you dopey little bitch. I grew up and got out of it. Now get out of it and get on it. And get it out. And then suck it off and finish it off. <laughs> Stupid cow. How frustrating. Figures that Ethan wouldn't be perfect. Well, well, you have an easier time of carrying plates because you're a guy. You're, you're not stronger than me. That is a poor excuse. I mean, those aren't making excuses, aren't bollocks you up. That's the thing. You're, you're, you're taking feminism back 300 years, you stupid cow. He, he takes the broom from me and sweeps up the bro 